Welcome back, Rudrance for Black and White Network. Well, let's talk about Bud Light. As we know, Bud Light is in a massive fall from grace, so to speak. Uh, we're finding out now that retailers are pulling their product from the shelves. Simply put, the shit's not selling. I mean, there's it's not selling. Dylan Mulvaney, the marketing campaign using a a biological man pretending to be a girl, once again, the strangest marketing campaign ever when you're talking about 21 and over customers, question mark. Not to mention your, your customer base is by and large going to be middle America. The dumbest decision we have ever seen involving a business, a company, and customers. Well, it's not a boycott. This has turned into a complete change of product a change of company in which anybody wants to support choose to support and of course there is a couple of things that come from that number one sales of other beer exploded and we're going to show that Kurz light in particular miller light exploded and a byproduct of that unfortunately was going to be some people get laid off however Got a couple of conservative companies that have stepped in to help those people find work. And also, amongst that article that I'm going to talk about is a very key takeaway. And it is, employees of Bud Light, employees of Anheuser-Busch, did not support them choosing to use somebody like Dylan Mulvaney in their marketing campaign. They did not agree with the ideology that was being pushed there. So there you have it. That just tells you. The employees, we've seen it with their distributors. We've seen it with their marketers coming out and saying, what the hell? But now you've got people that actually work for them that came out and said, no, nah, we didn't support that. We did not agree with it. Not happy about it. I don't blame them. I, I'd have been set back going, oh, my God. They may have just got me fired, got me laid off. And in a lot of cases, they did. Kurz Light, Miller Light combined sales now 50% bigger than Bud Light. Molson Kurz CEO reported. Molson Kurz reported an 11.8 surge in net sales over second quarter. Molson Kurz, beers like Kurz Light and Miller Light are devouring Bud Light's market share. Amid... Ongoing fallout from the Dylan Mulvaney marketing campaign. On Tuesday, Molson Kurz reported an 11.8% surge in net sales over the second quarter and a 5% jump in financial volumes with U.S. increases reflecting a shift in consumer purchasing. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're past a boycott here. It's a shift in consumer purchasing behavior. In other words, people are walking in. This Look, it, what was even worse for Bud Light here, Anheuser-Busch, was all this took was a walk to a beer case and decide to choose a different beer and walk out. I mean, that, that, that set up Just a catastrophic sales situation. Quote, we are sharing, we are sharing and, mar and market improvement Everywhere, and more consumers are reaching for our beers than our competitors' beers. Molson Kurz CEO Gavin Hazardly said in an earnings call, Kurz Light and Miller Light are now 50% bigger than Bud Light by total industry dollars, Hazardly said. Last year, Bud Light was bigger than both. Retailers are making space for our brands as demand increases. All right, key takeaway from that. Well, <laughs> if they're making way and space for their brands, guess who's losing space? You got it. The Anheuser-Busch. Outkick. Uh, but Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light workers are already finding work at self-described, quote, pro-American companies. When one door opens, they say, Quote, we hope that this results in more and more positive actions that hopefully send a strong counteracting message to the actions of Bud Light. Over the past few months, Michael Seifert, 
the CEO of Public Square. If you have not been over there, this is the company that is uh, paying and sponsoring for Roseanne Barr to do all these sh comedy shows coming up that's going to be on the X, the arm artist formerly known as Twitter. They're going to be on there. Uh, if you go to Public Square's site, and I was just there yesterday, it's uh, it's they're going to try to push themselves as a conservative version, essentially, of Amazon. Okay, it's all conservative businesses there that offer all kinds of different things. One of two conservative businesses who have opened said door, quote, it's pretty amazing to witness this parallel economy that emerges, is mer emerging, that's based in metacrocracy and excellence. Public Square and Red Balloon are two organizations swooping in to scoop off recently laid off Anheuser-Busch workers, of which there were many. AB announced last week they were laying off 2% of its U.S. workforce, primarily corporate and marketing roles. Conservative job board Red Balloon and patriotic online marketplace Public Square immediately published an open letter to unemployed Bud Light workers offering them help to find new jobs at, quote, pro-America businesses. Quote, we're sorry that Anheuser-Busch leadership prioritized left-wing ideology over sound business practices. The letter said, you are the ones that suffer for Bud Light's disastrous decision. People like to say, go, go, go broke. And in reality, the economic consequences rarely fall on the wealthy liberals that make the woke decision. Both Public Square and Red Balloon will distribute your resumes to respective networks of tens of thousands of pro-America businesses. Not a bad little fallback plan. Seifert told Fox Business earlier this week that they've already received, received quite a few resumes. I can tell you we have placed some incredible interviews and are excited that the ball is rolling down the court with more than a few of these folks on top of that and this is what i was talking about a second ago on top of that several former bud light employees have apparently voiced their displeasure with the company to the ceo quote they've told me very explicitly and clearly that the values at the top of Anheuser-Busch that led to marketing decisions like this do not represent their employee base. So not only did they give the double middle finger to their customer base, but they gave it to their actual employee base and their workers. Because, look, let's be honest, a lot of these Bud Light employees, a lot of these Anheuser-Busch employees, Everyday blue-collar workers, hard-working Americans. So, no, they, they probably aren't going to support a biological dude dressing up like a little girl. That's probably not going to happen. Drinking beer in a dress or in a bathtub. My God, that's who the hell saw that and said, you know, sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Oof. They're not alone. Bud Light sales have plunged. For four straight months, with experts warning of a coming reset at retailers across the country, Molson Kerr's CEO Gavin Hazardly predicted earlier this week Bud Light could lose shelf space this fall amid the backlash. And yeah, and uh, and they also, by the way, uh, Molson Kerr's gained twelve thousand tap handles in over. Um, is coming their way. Another 12,000 tap handles are coming, right? Uh, to, for more beer sales. But um, that's good. That's good that they can help these people get employment. It was the one downfall of all this. But I said, look, the moment this happened, these folks were going to have to start sending out resumes because you got to be, uh, you got to have enough self awareness to take a step back and go, oh shit, what have they done? I need to start sending out resumes. This is not going to go well. Or after a couple of weeks, you know, oh, shit, it's really bad. It's really bad. And this is this is like Disney. CMT's got a boycott running against them right now over Jason Aldean. Target got a boycott against them because of Pride Month and some of the shit they put out there. They tried to back way off, but oops. 
That didn't work out. But again, beer, Anheuser-Busch products, Bud Light, that set up the easiest boycott, I think, out of everything that we've seen that people have chose to be pro-American on and walk away from is as simple as walking to a beer case and going, nah, nah, I'll go with a different beer today. And it was just like that. And people just, once again, I said at the very beginning, you guys remember, look, people are very, very stingy about the beer they drink. Right? You have get-togethers. All your guys show up. Maybe it's UFC. Maybe it's WWE. Maybe it's AEW. Whatever kind of pay-per-view. Whatever you're taking in. Or a sporting event. Football day. Whatever. You know, seven dudes show up. They all bring their own brand of beer. Sometimes it's the same. One or two guys drink the same beer. But they all, oh, yeah, that's the blog guy. That's the Coors Light guy. And that's a Miller Light guy. And that's, you know, Modelo, Modelo E Special guy. Do you want to be the guy that's the Bud Light guy? Hell no, you don't, you know? I mean, I can't even imagine being caught with the can at this point. So... Tell me what you think. It is a disaster. Black and White Network supporters, peace. I'm out. Till next time.